Hey friends, I'm so excited to see you today. Guess what I've been doing? I've been busy making cookies today. Yay! I wanted to make some cookies for my neighbors and friends. I love doing kind things for the people I love. What kind of things do you like to do for the people you love? You're just in time because one of my friends, Miss Anna, is coming by and I'm going to surprise her with the cookies. Oh, goody, I think she's here. Hi, Miss Anna. Hey, Miss Jenna, how are you doing today? I'm doing so good because I'm here with my friends. Did you want to say hi? I would love to. Hey, friends. Hello. Hi, Miss Anna. Guess what? What? I have a surprise for you. Close your eyes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, no peeking, Miss Anna. <laughs> okay, open. Oh my gosh, I love cookies. Yay. Thank you so much, Miss Jenna. You're so welcome. I made those cookies. Yay. Thank you so much. I feel so loved. Good, that's how I wanted them to make you feel. Well, Miss Anna, today we're learning about being a good neighbor. I was sharing with my friends how I was making cookies to show my friends how much I love them. Do you think maybe you want to stick around for a little bit with us? I would love to. Awesome. Well, friends, I think we need to start today with a quick recap. We have been learning about Jesus' time here on earth and are beginning to enter into the final days of Christ's time on the earth before his death and resurrection on the cross. Last week, we watched the crowds declare Jesus as the one true king, the Messiah. They welcomed him crying, Hosanna! This week's story is about a man who was a good neighbor to someone he didn't even know. I'm excited to share it with you. Before we do though, I think we need a dance break. Yay! Mrs. Anna, since this week is about loving your neighbor, would you like to do a dance break with me? I would love to. Awesome. Since this week is about loving your neighbors, why don't you stand up and join a friend for this week's Neighbor, neighbor Dance Break. <laughs> to be a part of today. I think I'm gonna go home and enjoy my yummy cookies now. Awesome, well thanks for stopping by Miss Anna, bye! Bye Miss Jenna, bye friends! Bye. Thanks for helping me hand out my cookies today, friends. Well, I think it's that time. What time you ask? Story mode! Jesus was despised by the religious leaders. They heard Jesus was teaching in Jerusalem and they questioned Jesus. Which command in the law is the greatest? You see, they were always trying to catch Jesus saying something wrong so they could stop him. Jesus answered. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second most important command is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. The religious leaders asked Jesus a few different questions, but they were never able to trick him or catch him saying something wrong. Jesus explained to the Pharisees the two greatest commandments, and the second one was to love your neighbor as yourself. You know, that reminds me of a story that Jesus shared with the disciples and a lawyer once. It goes like this. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and the man fell among robbers, and they stripped him and beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. By chance, a priest was going down on that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Oh, that man is dirty. I don't dare dirty my robes. I am much too important. Likewise, a Levite also came down the road, and when he saw him, he passed on the other side. Places to go, people to see, busy, busy, busy. But, a Samaritan who was on a journey came upon the man, and when he saw him, he felt compassion. Oh, this poor man. I must do the right thing and help him. I will bandage his wounds, carry him on my horse, and bring him to an inn 
to receive even more care. I must help him. The next day, the Samaritan took out two denarii, which is money, and gave them to the innkeeper and said, take care of him. And whatever more you spend, when I return, I will repay you. Jesus asked, Which of these three people do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell into the robber's hands? The lawyer answered, The one who showed mercy towards him. Jesus told him to go and do the same. Jesus told that story to really get people to understand loving your neighbor as yourself. Jewish people and Samaritans did not get along. The Samaritan in the story helped the hurt man because it was what a good neighbor would do. He helped someone in need and went above and beyond to show the man that he cared. We can be a good neighbor by being kind to others and thinking about their needs above our own. That might look like doing something special for them, you know, like how I made Miss Anna cookies, or being a listening ear when they're upset. It could be praying for them or letting them have a turn before you. Sometimes it even means not getting what you want. Being a good neighbor is one of the ways we can show the love of Jesus. This week, let's ask the Holy Spirit to speak to us and tell us specific ways we can love our family members and friends, our neighbors. Well, friends, I think I'm going to bake some more cookies. See you next week. <laughs>